Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Angel Lee here. What it do? Long time no see, right? First of all, happy new year, you guys. How have you all been? Um, me, it's been a little whirlwind, but I'm better now and I am back. So if you would like to see what I'm talking about today, then keep on watching. Okay. Alright you guys, so let me just say this first, I took a very long hiatus because I think the last time I was here, I was telling you guys that I caught tonsillitis and I needed to have my tonsils removed. It took me five, six months to get them removed. I just finally got them removed. I caught tonsillitis at the end of June, beginning of July. I just got my tonsils removed December the 6th. So the healing process was one of the worst, the worst, I would say that, the worst healing process ever out of any procedure I've had done. So, yeah. But anyway, you guys, if you are new here, like I said, my name is Angel, but I go by Angel Lee. So feel free to subscribe if you like it, girl, okay? We're trying to reach some goals around here this year, and yeah. So, you guys, this video, I'm going to be talking about my 2022 luxury wish list. Okay, so 2021's luxury wish list was a bust, mostly because I was not feeling well. I did not do a lot of shopping, so we're back on it this year. So, let's get into this 2022 luxury wish list. Alright, you guys, so I have everything wrote down in my handy dandy notebook. You guys, I write this down every year, and when I get something, I just mark it off, right? So... To start off small, I want a pair of Dior earrings. Just like the small, the brush, the brassy gold color Christian Dior hoops. I'll put a picture up here so you guys can see. I like them. They're not too big. I'm really, I'm more of like a hoop girl or a stud girl. My day to day, like grocery shopping, stuff like that, I put on a stud. But, you know, when I want to look like I tried a little little I put on hoops so I want the Christian Dior hoops all right next thing that I want is a Hermes belt I really like designer belts um I just really want one I I don't know what color combo I want as of yet I don't know if I want just the typical black and brown most likely or if I want like the black and the blue or um, yeah, I'm really into green lately. Like, for real, for real, green is strong on my on my radar. Like, I wear a lot of green lately. So, I don't know if I want, like, the green one. I don't know. But I do want a Hermes belt. The next thing on my list is I want a Fendi bag and a Fendi belt. Um, I don't know if I want the Zuka print in the belt or if I just want a plain black one. I haven't really made up my mind and as far as the Fendi bag, I think I just want the little bucket bag. It works for me. I like it. It's nothing really else that Fendi that I really would want. Like the Fendi first is cute, but that's not really me. And or, the other bag that I would consider getting is a baguette. I do like that one, but I have to go in the store and try it on. But I do want a Fendi bag and a Fendi belt. The next two things same brand I want two um, YSL handbags I want the YSL college bag I really like that bag I really 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 like that bag I like the top handle on it I just I love the look of that bag and I think I would get the black one with the gold hardware for me I'm more of a gold person than silver person and I really like the way that look however they do have this green one but what she does not need is another green bag. Even though that one is olive, for my for the first bag, I would get the black one with the gold hardware. And next, I do want a Lulu bag. I don't know which one I want. They have this suede tan one. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Online. I have not been to the store in about a year maybe about a year since I've been a YSL. It's been a minute since I've been a YSL. So I haven't been there recently to see it in person, but I do want a Lulu bag. 
Next on my list, you guys, is still a Chanel bag. I still want the Chanel Gabrielle bag. It's my first Chanel bag, the black on black. Like, that's the bag that I, I love it. I love the way it looks. It would never leave me. It's worth my coin. So, the Chanel Gabrielle bag, I love it. I still want it. If I could get two bags, I would get a Chanel 19, the black one. Because black just, Chanel black classic, that works for me. So, but my first Chanel bag, I want the Chanel Gabrielle bag. The next bag that I want is, I want a Balenciaga bag, but I don't want the hourglass. That just doesn't work for me. I want a, the small one that kind of looks like the Alma BB, but I don't know if I want the black one or the red one. Mm, I'm not, but see, this is the thing. I want a pop of color. I need a pop of color, but I don't really wear red. I don't know why. I just don't. But I need a, a bag and a pop of color. So maybe if I buy the red one, it will force me to wear some red. At least buy some more red tennis shoes or something. So, but I do want a Balenciaga handbag. The next thing that I want, I cannot think of the name of this shirt for the life of me. But it is just a, in the front, it's a simple button down Balenciaga shirt. But it has Balenciaga across the back. I love that shirt. I think uh, Jeronica, Jeronica Mar, what's her, how do you say it? Jeronica Marcia. I think she has a white one. Yes. Yes. Y'all know I typically wear black. But that shirt right there. That shirt right there. I love it. So if I could ever find it, I will get that shirt. <clears throat> All right, you guys. The next thing that's on my list is uh, um, Speedy 20 from Louis Vuitton. I like the size of that. That's more everyday for me because I think the 25, I had a tw 25, I had a 30 before. Way too big. So the 25 to 30, 35, they're way too big. The Speedy 20 is more of my speed i love it i want a speedy 20. and the last things on my list are jewelry so let me tell y'all <laughs> so i want a tiffany bracelet i want the one with the um you know the t's on the end i'll show you a picture i really want one of those but i don't know if i want one or two I want it in gold, of course. So, yeah. I want that. Next thing is I want a Tiffany ring. Now, this is the thing about the ring, y'all. This is the thing about the ring. Okay. I have been married for years. And years and years. Excuse my phone. I've been married for years. Years and years and years. But I don't wear my wedding ring often. At all. I never have. From, since I got married, I may have worn my wedding ring 25 times in all of these. I've been married way more than 10 years. Way more. So, I don't wear my wedding ring often. But, if I was to get a Tiffany ring, it would force me to start wearing my wedding ring. You get what I'm saying? I had this conversation with my husband many years ago because I used to wear a thumb ring all the time. He's like, why do you wear a thumb ring every day but you don't wear your wedding ring? So I stopped. So, if I get this Tiffany ring, I'll wear my wedding ring because it's just sitting collecting dust most days. So that's the catch on that. And I want a, the last thing that I want it, well, two things. I want two necklaces. I want just like a simple, simple necklace with a little dainty little diamond. Something real simple, real basic, real cute, real everyday. I want that. And the last thing, I want another necklace, all gold, but I want the letter K. K is for my kiddo's name. So, I have one, but I want another one. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. 
All right, you guys, so that pretty much concludes this 2022 luxury wish list. You guys, let me know down below what are some of the things that you are um, trying to get this year in 2022. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow your girl on the gram at the Angel Lee Chick. I love you guys so very much for watching. I am back. I promise you I'm well. I'm healthy. I'm blessed. Yes, 2022. We're starting anew. I love you guys so very much for watching and see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.